Hello Codegurus, welcome back and in this video tutorial we are going to see on how to get started with Quasar Framework. Alright then, let's proceed uh, to the Quasar Framework website. So now over here on the top left corner click on the docs section. So you will be straight away redirected to getting started section under the documentation. So now over here Quasar actually provides three different modes for getting started. So first, if you want to embed your Quasar framework into your existing application, there is a mode called as UMD or standalone mode, so which allows you to progressively integrate the Quasar framework into your existing web application. The second option is using your Quasar CLI, so which in fact promises to provide you the premium developer experience. So in our course, we'll be limited mostly around this Quasar CLI. And the third mode which uh, you can use to get started with Quasar is using your UCLI3 plugin. So here as a part of this uh, session or this entire web series, we will be limiting ourselves with Quasar CLI in order to get the premium developer experience. So let's proceed with the installation of our Quasar CLI. So just click on the install Quasar CLI button to navigate to installation instructions. So now over here, the prerequisite for your Quasar CLI installation is you need to have at least nodes 8 and uh, NPM version 5 on your machine. So if you do not have already uh, those installed on your machine, just type node.js, go to the node.js.org website and try to download and install node.js before starting with the installation of Quasar CLI. So let's proceed to the command prompt and see whether uh, we have our uh, node.js installed. So here I'll just say node version. So it should be hyphen hyphen version. So we already have node 10.15 installed on my machine. Let's go ahead and see what is the version of our npm. So npm is also node sorry npm version is 6.9 so which is again uh, greater than 5 which is required by our quasar CLI. So what is the next instruction now that we have verified we have uh, node and npm installed on our machine so the next important command which is needed is your npm install hyphen g at quasar CLI. So what this will do is it will go ahead and install your quasar CLI on your machine. So let's go back to our command prompt again. So now I'll just go ahead and say npm install hyphen g at quasar slash CLI. So what this does is it tries to connect to your npm repository and installs your quasar CLI on your machine. So just give it a couple of minutes. All right, so we have successfully installed quasar CLI on our machine. So what is the next step? So the next step in order to create your Quasar app would be using your Quasar create command. So before we go ahead and create uh, the Quasar app, I would like to go ahead and first create a code repository. You can use either GitHub or Bitbucket. In our case over here for this tutorial, I will be using Bitbucket as my code repository. So just go ahead and say, plus, click on plus symbol and click on repository and give your repository name. So in our case, it is going to be CodeGuru and it is a private repository and it is going to be a Git based. And uh, I'll just say, do you want to include a readme file? Yes. So what this does is it helps me to create a master branch rather than creating an empty repository for me. So here, one last step. So I'll just go ahead and click on create repository. So it just created my repository. So I'll just click on the clone button on the top right and copy the command, go to my terminal. So let me go back to my project section. That's where I tend to go ahead and uh, put all my projects. So I'll paste that git clone command, which I've copied. So just give it a couple of seconds in order to clone the repository on your local machine. Alright, so we have successfully cloned our repository. So let's get into that folder. So as usual, 
So if you see, by default, you will be on my master branch. And since we asked it to create a readme file, it will go ahead and create a readme file. So the first thing which I want to do is, I want to create a develop branch. Cool, excellent. So now that we have installed Quasar CLI and we are already we have already created a GitHub uh, repository, let's go ahead and create our first Hello World Quasar app. So here, in order to get started, all you have to do is just say Quasar create. Now that you are in already inside a project folder, you need not provide any project folder name. All you could say is just say dot. So if you are not inside your project folder, then you need to go ahead and provide your project folder name over here. So what your Quasar will do is if that folder is not there, it will go ahead and create that folder for you and then scaffold all the skeleton application inside that folder. So in our case, we are already inside our project folder. So let's go ahead and create it as dot. So here the command is Quasar create dot. So now it will go ahead and ask a couple of questions for us. First of all, if, if you are familiar with the view CLI, the questions are pretty much the same. So it says, uh, do you want to generate your project in your current directory? Yes, I want to generate. So it will just go ahead and uh, quickly download your uh, start kit. So now what is your project name? I'll just stick with code guru. And what does your product name? Project product name. So here again, I'll just go ahead and change it to code guru. So description, I'll just keep it default, a Quasar framework app and author. So whatever the default value it is providing to me. And yeah, so here uh, I'll just go ahead with the SAS with the indented syntax, which is a recommended option. And uh, I'll be going ahead with uh, auto import uh, your Quasar components. And yes, I want to choose with ESLint. So I'm going with uh, pretty much all the default things. So here I'm going with ESLint standard. And here I'll just go ahead and give code guru dot mobile so this will be used inside your uh, mobile uh, applications it, it will just act as a project uh, uh, your package uh, starting point so just click yes and over here it 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 recommends either use yarn or you you can use npm so depending upon your installation you can go either way on our machine we have installed npm so i'm going with use npm so just give it a couple of minutes. It will go ahead and download all the dependencies needed for your project and scaffold that project for us. So just give it a couple of seconds. All right, so it has successfully created a scaffolding project for us. So if you just quickly clear your screen and just say LS, so it has created a pretty decent structure for us. So let's, we will try to deal about what is this project structure in our upcoming uh, video series. So don't worry about that. So let's create the screen. And now let's go ahead and use one more important command called as Quasar Dev, which will go ahead and start our web application in a developer debug mode. So just give it a couple of seconds. So here, this is like a, a test whether we have successfully created the Quasar project using your Quasar CLI or not. So just give it a couple of seconds. All right then. So here, if you observe, it has successfully created a Quasar Hello World application for us. So now let's assume why, first of all, why did we go in the Quasar CLI mode if we have other three flavors? The first and foremost I said was, it was giving me a premium developer experience. Now, in order to prove that point, what I would like to do over here is, let's go ahead and start creating a desktop application using the same Quasar CLI command. So now, in order to do that, under the documentation section over here on the left-hand side, so here you have something called as a Quasar CLI section. So now let's go ahead and see how do we develop a desktop application. So here Quasar uses Electron for creating a desktop based applications. So now under the uh, developing Electron app section, just click on preparation. So all you have to do is uh, you can just use Quasar mode add Electron or there is one more command called as Quasar dev hyphen M Electron. 
So what this does is if that mode is not already added to your existing application, it will just go ahead and add that particular mode to your application. So now what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and directly execute this command. So this command is intelligent enough to identify that, oh, okay, there is no Electron app installed on this, on this project. Let me go ahead and scaffold all that settings for us. So this is where the real power of your Quasar CLI comes into picture. So let's go back to our terminal. So I'll stop that application, clear the screen. So the command is Quasar dev hyphen M Electron. So what this guy does is it just goes and checks whether you can see the Quasar Electron is missing and it was automatically installing all the Electron dependencies and as well as the settings which are required for my application. So just give it a couple of minutes depending upon your internet speed it will just go ahead and download all the dependencies and install that thing on your project. All right. So we have uh, successfully created a desktop application using your Quasar. So you can close this debug window in order to access your complete desktop application. So here you can see it's a Code Guru application and it's a completely a standalone desktop application. So this is where your Quasar CLI really, really shines. So it just takes a matter of minute and helps you to start porting your existing application to various platforms. I hope you have liked this video. If yes, please do not forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to click subscribe button and bell icon in order to receive instant notifications from our channel.